23 is in the uh, Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. Attention! Go. Skulls. And uh, on the Berkshire Station, we have uh, Molsey Boat Club and Sir William Borlace. And on Bucks, Imperial College London and Agecroft from uh, Salford Keys, Manchester. That north south combination in that regard. And um, a well credentialed crew from uh, Molsey and Sir William Borlase, uh, made up of heavyweights and lightweights, but with uh, good credentials. Um, and nonetheless, the Imperial College crew, uh, Imperial College at Agecroft, uh, Agecroft being from, from uh, Manchester, uh, the crew that was seeded uh, by the stewards in, in this event um, over the uh, Molsey and Borlase. Uh, Grammar School crew. That's um, Imperial College and Age Cross, Cross closest to the camera, and uh, leading by about a length at this stage, um, with about a third of the race travel. Talk to me, John, about how these composite crews come about. What is, what is the dynamic? What's what's the thinking? Who talks to who? How do they come to be? There's a variety of means, but uh, generally leading up to Henley time. Uh, particularly amongst scholars, they look around to see who's doing what and who might be available to jump into a composite crew. Um, scholars, of course, in their singles can train by themselves and it's much easier for them to uh, come together later in the season to, to race at Henley. And uh, the coaches talk, uh, the athletes may have rode uh, together in, in different um, uh, national crews or uh, university crews in the past and uh, the word gets around and um, uh, some very handy crews come come out of it and uh, uh, here we see in the um, uh, the, the Molsey crew the Molsey and Sir William Borlase crew as I mentioned um, Adam Freeman Pask is a, a, a successful lightweight rowing with a couple of quite successful heavyweights in Ritchie and, and Salisbury um, at uh, national level and then um, Angus Warren, his claim to fame is having won the Fawley Challenge last year. So the youth event, so quite a young, quite a young scholar uh, joining the older scholars. But uh, the, the, nonetheless, the um, uh, the Imperial College crew is is showing uh, a clear set of blades to the um, uh, the. the um, Imperial, uh, sorry, the Molsey and, and Sir William Borlase Grammar School crew um, uh, as they come into the enclosure. So a little bit of steering being done by the umpire there as Imperial uh, move over towards the centre of the course. Um, and uh, he's continuing to steer them over into their correct station. So that shows that there's some pressure being applied by the, the Molsey composite crew to them. Um, but uh, they're holding them off um, whilst uh, slowly correcting their steering. You can see they're not so far away in the centre of the course. Um, it's only uh, a hundred or so metres to go, but it's a, a length of its advantage that this um, leading crew has. And um, uh, they'll take out this heat of the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. There's Imperial College London and Agecroft Rowing Club. North South London Manchester combination had uh, enough to leave behind Molsey Boat Club and Sir William Borlace's grammar school combination and uh, to progress in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. Another good race, really good race. Yes, yeah, a very tight one.